All right, we're going to give a brief orientation on the operation of our smoke truck washers, uh, demonstrating a machine that's being constructed for high pack in Barbados. Depending on the model, Douglas smoke truck washers will process one to four 42 inch by 48 inch by 81 inch high racks at a time. Special versions are also available. This particular model is an STW2000 designed for two racks at a time. The machine is installed into a pit, sinking the load height to the customer's floor level. This allows racks to be rolled in on the wheels or placed in the machine with pallet jacks. If desired, you can order the machine as this one was with a second door for pass-through operation. The machine comes standard with all the components needed for use with caustic detergents. This includes a NEMA 4X stainless steel control panel, stainless steel fittings and nozzles, stainless steel wash and rinse pump housing with stainless steel impellers, liquid filled pressure gauges, thermometers with stainless steel wells, and stainless steel drains. Douglas smoke truck washers also come equipped with continuous weld construction, wash down duty motors, and an automatic rinse diverter. The diverter helps preserve detergent. The wash cycle is fully adjustable and controlled with timers and thermostats. A three-way wash cycle selector switch allows for quick changes when the need arises to adjust for varying soil conditions. The start button initiates the wash rinse cycle, which is typically 10 to 20 minutes in duration. Recirculating detergent wash water is pumped through oscillating spray arms with stainless steel nozzles. When operating 350 to 400 gallons per minute, it's pumped through the wash chamber at 80 psi. 150 to 160 degree water temperature is being maintained by gas or steam coiled booster heaters. Each wash cycle is followed by a 30 second rinse from a separate tank and spray system at 180 to 190 degrees to sanitize the rack without the use of chemicals. The rinse water is routed to drain by employing an automatic rinse valve. Again, this preserves the concentration of caustic detergents in the wash tank. Filters collect debris and keep the nozzles from clogging. An optional steam extraction fan for the wash cabinet vacates the steam at the end of the wash rinse cycle before the door is open. Desired, the machine can be equipped with hoods and fans at the entrance and or exit end to control steam while the doors are open. Now what we'll do is circumvent the uh, door safety mechanism and we'll operate the machine with the door open to give you an indication as to the operational pressures and volume of water during the wash cycle.